All right, now we're going to create variants in our component. I went ahead and created the home bar. I want you to create the home bar as well using that same process that we discussed prior. So go ahead and pause this and do that. Once that's complete, do the following. So uh, when I create a variant, it's going to add it to the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this up. And if you click a component, um, we get this little add variant option here at the top. So I'm going to click that. And essentially, I want to make one for um, light mode and one for dark mode. So <clears throat> the one for light mode is, is this one. And we'll make this white for dark mode. If you, um, after you've made that, let's go to our layers, uh, that'll show up as a, as a variant option here or default option here. That's your first one. And then kind of strangely, uh, when you add a new one, you always kind of want to look down in the layers, but actually it, it adds it above. So each new layer goes up, not down, which is a little confusing because in Photoshop, Illustrator, everything goes down. Um, so if we click this guy, it says variant two. So we must name them. So just like we name the status, so we're going to change this default to, um, let's see, light mode. So we're going to rename the property. mode and then change this to light and then we'll click this variant and you can do the same in the layers palette see how it says mode equals variant 2 if you change that equals you can call this uh, dark and it'll update over here as well so all I'm going to do here is change these uh, to white All right, so I'm gonna grab this, go down to fill. Well, how about that? And change it to white. All right, we can't see the background of that, so I'm gonna grab the frame and just turn the background off and now we can see that. Okay, so the lovely part of this making these modes is um, when we access the instance of that symbol or uh, component, I mean, we now have different modes. So if we're dealing with something dark or uh, a color bar or something like that, <clears throat> so we'll just change this background to red. Um, now we can, so I'm going to click the frame of the component and give that a, a fill of gray so we can see both of them because we want this invisible as well. So I'm going to hide that. Um, so if you wanted to use light mode, now we're on the asset or the instance and um, we should see our modes here so it says status mode light I'm gonna change this to dark um, so now we've got options within our components so just like the status bar I want you to do the same uh, for the home bar make a light mode and a dark mode before moving on to the next step.